Hi, Mr. Paris here. I uh, came to share a suitcase that I made. I was gathering a bunch of book pages and I thought, well, I need a place to keep that. So let me make a little suitcase for it. And I decided to use a UPS box. This box. And I made it into this. Um, I've covered it with book pages on both sides. And uh, I put burlap all the way around the outside edge for interest. I made corners with some uh, tartan fabric. And I also put that on the bottom. And I have little feet on it so it can stand up. And this belt is actually the strap of a purse. And this is another portion of that strap and the rings from the purse that I made a handle with. And I have these little things dangling off. This is a safety pin. It has a number, a G12. And then I have a little um, a luggage bag, a uh, luggage tag, excuse me, and some more nonsensical stuff, ring, and a little key. I free it here. And I made a little tag with my friend's cat on there. So on this side of the bag, all of the stickers that I used are right side up for carrying the bag. But on this side, they would normally be upside down because I wanted them to face me when I opened my box or my suitcase. So let's go inside. Um, I liked the little photos. I think this was actually a postcard that I photocopied, glued them on here. There's some stamps here, my name. This says one guy online. That was off of a package somebody sent me. That's my channel name for those who don't know it. This is the inside. So I cut a hole in the side of the uh, UPS box and then I put this little trim. This was actually the uh, string out of my, the drawstring out of my pajama bottoms. And this tartan fabric is actually a pair of pajama bottoms, what's left of them. Um, so I decoupaged that down there. So I had a background for my, my um, book pages. <clears throat> I made a little pocket. And there's a little strap there. So you can stick things under. And a pocket. This was a a little book that I found on the ground and it was so cool although it had no pages when I found it it was just really beat up cardstock you know the, the um, I can't think of what it's called anyway someone had written on it and I thought oh my god that's so cool it even still has one of the staples in it so I decided to put pages back in just a few and got a little torn map to put in there but I used string to hold it together so that staple is still in there <laughs> anyway I thought it was fun so I put it in here but this is where my book pages will be kept or at least that's what I thought till I tried to actually put them in there and I discovered the box is too small but I'll show you my book pages anyway <clears throat> people have been sending me little kits and book pages that I've ordered on cardboard. So I thought, well, you know, it looks so cool like this. Well, how can I keep that? So, as people were sending me little containers for my book pages, I thought, how cool is that? Just to keep them in little separate containers. This pile obviously has been displaced. So I put a little this is the cardboard someone sent the papers on, so I 
just covered it up with some flaps. Look at that one last. These are some large dictionary pages just on a piece of cardboard. So I made a pocket so I can see what I'm looking at. And this was um, uh, architecture book and I had uh, this file folder and uh, this paper I had printed out so I was putting that together. These were somebody's phone numbers. I don't know how long ago those were valid. Let's see if I can get this apart. Which way do you go? So, so I could get in my pages. Add a little map here for ambiance. And this is a pocket. So I can, if I tear up pieces, I can stick them in there. And keep it all together. I think that's a little easier than looking for all the pages if they're kept together. I don't know. Haven't tried it yet. Anyway, that's my share. Um, I hope you enjoyed it.